Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Resort review. Today we're checking out the Weston La Paloma, which is in Tucson, Arizona. It's one of the top resorts in Tucson. It's got a lot going for it, so let's check out this beautiful spot on planet Earth. The Weston's located in the Catalina Foothills area of Tucson. It's overlooking sort of the whole valley of Tucson, a little bit of ways from downtown, so if that's your destination on your trip to Tucson, don't necessarily recommend staying at this spot, but if you're looking for a great getaway and want to stay, you know, completely on property, excellent choice from the Weston. Uh, parking, self-parking is complimentary, so keep that in mind. Uh, there is a daily resort fee that includes driving range access at the golf course, as well as, you know, your typical gym and water bottles. So a little bit of a cash grab, but at least you do get some driving range access if you're a golfer. What we're looking at now is the main lobby. It's a big sprawling room uh, with a sunken bar and restaurant that we'll check out in a bit. Um, but over to the left of the check-in area is the coffee shop, which is called Espresso. So you can grab, you know, coffees and breakfast items here in the morning if you don't have breakfast included. Um, I am a Titanium Elite member, but we were staying under my wife's free night certificate from the Marriott Amex card. So we used uh, the night in her account and we didn't have breakfast benefits because she's just gold. So I did grab a coffee from there in the morning. So beautiful lobby, very elegant, lots of room to spread out. Um, so big conference hotel as well. Um, and then this is downstairs at Azul and this is where you'll find the buffet breakfast in the morning if you do have those platinum or titanium elite benefits or if you just wanna get a nice big hotel buffet breakfast. Now heading out um, of the lobby back towards the parking area to the left is an events tent. Uh, so you can use that for conferences or perhaps weddings and then a specialty Mexican restaurant. And really actually it's more Latin American cuisine. It's called Contigo. Um, so they had a lot of Spanish tapas there. We grabbed some to go. Um, of course, all the restaurants are doing to go now with the pandemic still going on. So easy to grab something to go and take it back to your room. Uh, this resort is pretty gigantic. It actually surprised me how much uh, room it actually has uh, for the both the guest rooms and uh, where all the restaurants and pool area are spread out. During our visit on a Saturday night, this place got pretty busy. So if you do like this type of food, definitely make reservations in advance. So one unique thing about the West in La Paloma is that it is connected to a private members only club. Um, so they have a golf course with three nines, they have tennis courts, they have a huge fitness center. So if you're staying at the resort, you get full access to all of that, which I think is really great. So you can't make a tee time at the golf course otherwise. Um, so we did get a chance to play. So we'll show you a few holes and a couple shots of the course. It's a Jack Nicklaus signature course and one of the best golf courses in all of Arizona. So definitely worth checking out. But the fitness center, because it is a private club, is sprawling and huge uh, with multiple tennis courts, some clay courts, um, a big swimming pool with, lap, uh, you know, lap pool. Um, so lots of options there. And they even have a little uh, cafe here that you can order from. So everything can be charged back to the room just like any other resort, even on the golf course. Um, so definitely uh, take a look at that. Um, but. The golf course's uh, practice facilities are great in case uh, you just wanted to come out and practice a little bit if you had your clubs. Um, so take advantage of that and use that resort fee. So we stayed here in late January 2022. Um, so it was a little chilly on our weekend, but I was surprised that the pools themselves were fully open and heated. So even the water slide and the main pools uh, were a very comfortable temperature, um, despite maybe the upper 40s, low 50s in the morning. Um, so we're gonna give you a little bit of a walkthrough of the main pool area. I was really impressed with the pool area. It felt very brand new. They must have just redone it. Um, so let's take a look there. Um, <clears throat> so I would say that the Weston is sort of a, a so, or a, situated in a, a U shape. Um, so the pool is sort of in the middle and then there are guest room wings on either side. Um, and there are a lot of guest rooms here. Um, it's a fully outdoor walk uh, on sort of a, I would say a pebble path, uh, that's a paved pebble path um, to get to your room. So they do have golf carts that will take you uh, to your room with all your luggage if you don't want to drag it. Um, but 
obviously in the winter, not as busy here at the pool, but I can definitely see um, the pool getting very busy in the summer. The pool area is split up into several different areas, so there's a nice little adults pool with an adult spa, um, hot tub, hugging these rocks and waterfall, I thought that was really cool. Really a great look uh, to this whole place. And then as you go down, you see uh, another pool and then the main pool that has the swim up bar um, as well as a big water slide for the kids and some more hot tubs spread about. And after this fun water slide, I did check out the Cactus Garden, which is located just outside the pool area. A very cool feature of the resort. So if people are not from Arizona and don't really know much about cacti, this is the place to check out uh, or, you know, just contemplate life and get zen. So this is located right next to all of the tennis courts and the gym area as well. So um, pretty convenient. And they even had some outdoor pool. Um, so cool, cool little spot to hang out. Keep in mind the kids club is around the gym and the tennis courts as well. So if you're traveling as a family and you want to be able to get out and maybe hit a few balls or play some tennis, be some, get some adult time, then that is available to you as well. So we're going to take a look around the resort a little bit more and then we're going to head into our room, which was a golf course view king.
We did have a bit of a walk to our room 372. It's as far away from the lobby as you can get, but it's located right next door to the golf shop, uh, which was great for us since we were playing golf right after we checked in. Uh, nice golf course view as well, so we'll show you that. But overall, a pretty standard Weston room. Um, nothing really too spectacular or remarkable. Um, felt like everything was in good shape. Could maybe use a little bit of a refresh. Uh, starting to look a little bit old, but everything's in nice shape. So no complaints really from me there. Uh, no Nespresso coffee machine, just that drip coffee. And then um, a barn door that leads into the bathroom. Pretty spacious bathroom with dedicated baths separate from the shower as well as two sinks. So pretty nice bathroom setup actually, um, compared to other hotels. I feel like the hotels nowadays, new builds, they'll combine the shower, get rid of the tub completely, and then you don't have a full door onto the shower. Um, so definitely a nice bathroom setup here. And then we're gonna move into the main room where our king bed and TV is. Uh, TV definitely had some issues uh, with the cable, definitely on the older side, so that could use a refresh if Weston's watching. Um, and then a pull out, uh, I believe that's a twin bed there right next to the king. So if you need to squeeze some more people in this room, you could. And then a nice little balcony from there um, that had a nice view of, I believe, number seven on the king course. 